knowledge. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a playlist on Elasticsearch. In the previous video, we talked about query and filter context and in this video, we will start writing some example queries of our own. Just to have a recap, we talked about the query and filter context where we talked about what are relevant scores, what does query mean, uh, how does the score affect the query and what are filters. We also uh, ran some examples where we talked about how these work in detail and in today's video we'll actually talk about how we can write our own queries to find something in our database. Now before we uh, write some queries we had talked about indexing documents uh, in one of the previous videos I'll link it in the description and for writing queries for this particular video we have to have the accounts.json data indexed in our Elasticsearch database. So make sure you follow this website and uh, you have downloaded the data set into Elasticsearch and indexed it properly. Once that is done, we can uh, start writing our own query. So before we jump onto that, let me first uh, make sure that we have Elasticsearch running. And let's also run Kibana now. Let's just wait for Elasticsearch and Kibana to get running so that we can start writing the query. So until this happens, let's just see what the query is. So we have an example here. So we have to write a query to search for addresses that have either a lane or a street in the name. So the address should either have a lane or a street and have a balance between 20,000 and 30,000. So uh, to understand the query properly, let's just uh, wait for Kibana Elasticsearch to load so that we can understand uh, the parameters, uh, the key value pair of our JSON data so that we can understand uh, this question better and then start writing the query for it. Let's just make sure it is up and running. Yeah, I think it is. Let's just go uh, refresh Kibana and see if it's here. Yes. So now before we jump on to writing the query, let's actually uh, create an index pattern on Kibana. So we're using the bank database. So let's just create that so that we can visualize our data set in, Q on, in Kibana as well. And we are good to go. So let's see how our data looks like on Kibana. And yeah, awesome. So all of our data can now be visualized on Kibana properly. So we can see a table view or a JSON view of the data. That's perfect. Now, as you can see, our data set has an ID, the index bank, a score, which is zero by default. It has the account number, the address, age, balance, city, etc., etc. So now uh, we can make some, uh, we can write some queries based on the data which we have here. So as you can see, we need to write a query to search for addresses. So we have to deal with the addresses uh, tag and it has some data here. So some kind of addresses. So it has lanes, it has a street, so it, it can have lanes or streets, streets again. Uh, let's see, it can have a court. So different, different names for different addresses. So we want addresses that have either a lane or a street in the name and have a balance between 20,000 and 30,000. So the balance has to be between 20,000 and 30,000, as you can see. Now, yeah, let's start writing. So the first thing which we need to understand uh, is the kind of API which we have to call. So we have talked about the different kinds of APIs Elasticsearch uses. So the first thing which we need to do is understand what we have here and what we want. So we need to write a query to search something. So when we search for something, we have to get the results back, right? So it's a get API and we have to search in the bank index and use the search API inside guess, get, let's start. So we have to write a query. Let's just have the basic skeleton of our query so that we are sure what we have to do. Okay. So now we need two things. Let's divide the query into two parts. First is to search for addresses with the name uh, having lane or street in them. And the second part will be having a balance between 20,000 and 30,000. 
Now uh, let's use both the query and the filter context here. So we can use the query context to actually understand how we can have street and lane both in the name. So it can either have both or either of them. So since we're using both query and filter, we should have a boolean. So bool. And let's see. So it should must have either a lane or a street. So a must. And it should match. Now uh, it should match the address. And something which I think is uh, interesting here is that we don't have to have multiple match statements for lane and street. We can just have match lane and street here, right here. So that uh, how the match query works is that it searches for the string and the substring. So it searches for lane street, street and lane. So all of them will be included in the, a single query. We don't have to worry about the rest. Uh, if you have two match queries, even that works. But uh, since we can do the same kind of work in less lines of uh, less query lines, that works better. And next, we need to have a filter. So let's just write a filter now. Now we need a filter. So filter. Oh, I can't spell filter. Sorry about that. Now we need a filter. And I think we made some mistake. Oh, let's just Okay, let's just write it and then we can figure out the mistakes. So now we have a range. And the range is between the range is for what is the balance. So the balance has to be between this and this, which has to be greater than 20,000 and less than 30,000. So let's write the range for balance. And that has to be greater than 20,000. And it has to be less than or equal to 30,000. Awesome. And let me just make sure this is right. Okay, so we don't need this since we just have one. We don't need this as well. And yeah, let's just check the indentations because I'm very particular about them. So query bool, the query goes here, must match the address lane or street. And you filter by this. Let's run this and see how it works. Yeah, so it took 40 microsecond, milliseconds. We have total 85 hits. And the max score, the most relevant document was this. And it had lane and had the balance just greater than 20,000. And this way we have a lot of uh, hits. So it has lane, lane again, street, and it's more than 20,000. So yeah, that is how we write an example query in Elasticsearch. Just to reiterate on what we had done here, we had, we had to write a query to search for addresses that had either lane or street in the name and had a balance between 20 and 30,000. We started off with a get API, uh, a get search API, had a query, it had both query and context, sorry, query and filters. So it must have to match lane and street and I had to filter between the balance 20,000 and 30,000. So that is how we write a query. And in the next uh, video, we'll actually start uh, working on, uh, let's see, compound queries and see how they work. Thank you.